What's going on guys, Amazing Wild here back with another video. I wanted to make this updated video for the final boss um, because some new information actually came out when doing the nuking. So I just wanted to get this video out so everyone knows, right? Um, as you guys can see, my new best ranking is the 3048 and I am in the top 0.37%. So this is probably going to guarantee me the top 5%. Um, I don't think anyone's going that crazy. Oh, look at that. Seton's number one. Look at that, yo. But, um, yeah, so as you guys can see, you're not really like the thing is with Jericho, um, in my video where I showed the 2,400 plus score, um, I just wanted to make this clear that in the video, you want to actually rush ultimate first phase. So I have the recorded version of this fight. So I'm going to let that play after this and I'll do like a voiceover. But I just want you guys to know at the beginning that um, that video is a little in informative, I guess you could say. It's not completely correct. I did record that right when the the uh, like the final boss actually came out, right? I didn't really have much information I was going off of for nuking. So the priority when you want to do it is you want to nuke twice with Jericho. So you're actually getting double the points, right? And it's not exactly double the points, but it increases it by a ton in with the margins, right? Yeah, as you guys can see, top 0.37% with the 3048 score with the Jericho nuke. Um, it's definitely doable. You just need to have a pretty built out Jericho. Um, I don't have UR gear on my Jericho, so I'll show you guys right here my gear before we uh, show you guys the run, right? Uh, crit damage, triple crit damage. And uh, the rolls are actually decent, right? The base dots are good, but the rolls aren't even min max, guys. So th this was just a, a little like a little like decent like setup, right? It's it's triple crit damage setup. Um, Jericho is the the best DPS for this fight, other than Derriere. So if you don't have Derriere, you're gonna want to use her if you want to get like a three thousand plus score, right? Yeah. So that's mainly that for my Jericho. For my Merlin, I'll go over her gear. It's kind of just an attack defense set, right? Um, I do have the top two pieces you are, but other than that, there's nothing crazy. Just attack defense. For my Gother here, we have HP defense. You actually don't need um triple defense for Gother for this. Because what I found out is that once you've killed off the Meliodas, um, after he's done his ultimate, right, the Elizabeth actually never targets your Gother. So I'll show you guys in the actual clip, right? But um, right here, well, this is the setup I use. It's not even a fully maxed out HP defense set, right? This needs to be uh, maxed a little bit. But um, you have HP defense on Gother. And then Alioni in the back, you just put an HP defense on for the extra uh, CC, right? You just want to make sure that Alioni's CC is high enough to get to the 160k threshold, right? And um, the really important thing about this, honestly, is getting these missions, right? So you do get buffs for using Collector Mage Merlin. So that is why you use Merlin over Gustav. So if anyone trying to use Gustav out there, you want to use Red Merlin over Gustav just because of the benefits with the points, right? Another thing to note, is that right here you want to inflict over 300,000 damage in one attack against one enemy um it's going to give you 310 points so you want to make sure you're able to do the nuke with jericho twice and the reason for that is because when you do it twice you get bonus points for the overall score and i didn't know that going in with my earlier video right so now that i know the information and it's correct you guys will be able to get 3,000 plus score with this team right um it's the exact same team as before it's just a different play style in the actual fight so i'm gonna let the fight play um i did use crit damage food over lifesteal food so if you guys want to do a min max um damage deal right here you can actually use the crit damage food and i just wanted to give a shout out to shogun he he actually dropped a video showing that he got to 3400 score with this team so it's definitely doable to min max at around 3500 with the jericho nuke but um, it, it's all dependent on your gear, right? If you don't have a really built crit damage gear set for Jericho, I would just recommend to probably use Escanor at that point. But the team still works, right? So I'm going to let the pl clip play and uh, I'll do a voiceover for the clip. So this is going to be it for the beginning and I'll see you guys when we're there. All right. So this is where we start up the fight right here, guys. And this is where I actually get the 3000 point threshold. So I was just farming it. You know, I, I was trying to go for a really high score, but we needed a really good starting hand, right? So with this fight, um in my last video i did say not to nuke the first turn but you actually do want to nuke the first turn so as you can see i got a really good hand here we start off with three jericho cards and we had a level two jericho card also so we actually only need one more alt gauge to get the ultimate and what you want to do is you want to make it so that you're able to get the jericho ultimate and nuke the demon meliotis right so right here, I just waste some cards on the Elizabeth. Just gets a little bit of chip damage, right? Um, it doesn't have to be anything crazy because Elizabeth's pretty easy to kill after you've killed the Meliodas. So you just want to make sure that you're able to do some chip damage and get your ultimate on Jericho as quick as you can, right? 
So right here, the enemy is just doing the defense related stats buffs. And you also want to try and follow the point threshold thing too. So for the one of them is you actually have to freeze an enemy or cancel buff to get the, the points. So you guys will see when I do it. But um, I do use a freeze card here and I'm contemplating exactly what I do here, right? But um, my hand is really good because as you guys can see, we have a Gotha rank up. We're going to rank up the other Gotha rank up so it's level 3. And then we just use the Merlin card on the Meliodas. So as you can see, we remove buff, we get the 5 points. We rank up the Gotha rank up so now we have a level 3. So we get the basic stats increase. We're just going to damage Meliodas a little bit. And we do get a Jericho card this turn so we can push for the ultimate. So now that uh, Meliodas has actually damaged the Gotha, we, we're not going to have the... The passive for go through right but what's gonna happen is after we've killed a after we've killed um demon melee we we're gonna be able to stack go passive from then on so you guys will see right here we uh get the jericho damage off right there only use um non debuff cards on melee when he has the counter guys on the first phase just because if you use a in like an attack disable or any debuff card on the melee um it will actually get him to full counter so that's why it didn't full counter there and we just freeze the elizabeth so he can't do anything this turn right we get the free turn and right here is where we do the actual setup on the melee so you do the nuke on the melee and then you want to rush ultimate again with jericho it's it's basically like a rinse and repeat type of thing right um yeah so what i do here is i just rank up the freeze to a level two and we freeze the meliotis and nuke him with my jericho ultimate and as you can see, we do get the mission accomplished for freezing the, the stance or, or the buff, right? Really important. We also get the mission accomplished for the, the 300k or more, which is really good. And right here, this is where you kind of just stall for um, really good cards, right? For the next hand. So we're actually building up Gother passive here and wasting cards. So right here is your chance where you start building up the passive. Um, you, you get a better hand, right? You want to have the Gother rank up a freeze and a the Jericho ultimate right for the next turn or for the next phase I should say so we're just letting Elizabeth do her thing right nothing crazy we do get a Jericho card here so I decided to just move it and use one and save the other one just in case I get unlucky and not pull a Jericho card right um, we want to make sure we're, we have the Jericho ultimate for the final phase and I check here the, the turn and we're at turn six so we're doing pretty good right pretty good so far this is it this is the really good run right so Elizabeth does her heal. It's not going to actually heal her till the next turn because of the rejuvenate on how it works. So she's going to take the bleed damage there. I'm going to rush the Jericho ultimate here because Jericho's uh, crit chance is actually over 100 at this point, right? So there isn't really, um, we don't have to start, we don't have to build up the passive anymore, guys. So there we go. Just wasting cards. We have all ultimates here. We have two freezes and a level three go through rank up. So it's it's looking really good, right? Um, the setup is looking really good, and Elizabeth hasn't attacked go through yet. So we actually are building up that passive, and it's going to be really nice, right? So right here, I contemplate what I do. I don't really know exactly what I'm what I'm going to do, right? Um, I do do the uh, go through rank up, and then we just nuke with the go through ultimate and the Merlin ultimate just to clear this phase, and then the next phase. I'm gonna nuke with Jericho on the Demon Melee again, right? So it's you just rinse and repeat, same type of thing, right? Second phase does get a little bit harder, but you wanna try and just nuke every uh, Demon Melee you can, right? Because the Elizabeth is the easiest one to kill, so you leave her last to finish her off after you've killed Demon Melee. All right, so now we're loading into the final phase of the fight right here, and we have a really good hand, right? We have the two freezes, we have the Jericho ultimate, so what I do is I just straight up combine my freezes, I use it on the Meliodas and we nuke with the Jericho ultimate here. And before I do that, I actually show you guys that my crit chance is above 100%. And I show that the Gother is actually at his 5 stack passive. So this ultimate does an insane amount of damage, right? That's how I was able to score such a high score here. Um, Jericho does hit for a really high number, right? 1.8k or 1.8 million, I should say, right? Really insane. So right here, we just get a ton of Jericho cards. And what I do is I decide to just rush Jericho ulti again. Because at this point, um, you want to just nuke the the Elizabeth, right? It doesn't really matter who you nuke her, who you nuke with, right? You could nuke with the Merlin ult, you can nuke with the Gother ult, but at this point, I just go for the Jericho ult because it's a uh, it's available for me, right? I have a ton of cards, so there we go. We have the Jericho ulti, and what I do here is I just use two merlin cards to get the points right because merlin does give extra score so i use two of merlin's cards and then i use the jericho ultimate and it finishes off the fight for the 3000 point score so pretty easy right 
Um, it's just, it's going to take you a lot of attempts. It took me a decent amount of attempts, right? I'm recording this at about 1142 and my first run when I did it was like five in the morning guys. So I was, I was grinding, right? But uh, yeah, we do get the, the alt off again and it's a 300k hit. And then right here, we uh, finish off with the 3000 points. So that's going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I just wanted to get this video out there as soon as I can, because my last video was kind of not as informative as this one because this one does show you that you can hit a really high score so um hope you guys enjoyed as i said don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out